here to our campus, to the Allison William Jenkins Gallery, and the beautiful Keepers of Heritage uh, ex ex exhibition. I would love to see a show of hands. Who is here for the very first time? <laughs> Congratulations. come here on a regular basis, please connect with all these people whose hands went up and tell them that they came to the right place. <laughs> tell them about everything you know about us. You guys are members. You are students. You are board members. You are financial supporters. You are community members who embrace <coughs> Creality School of Art and the diverse programming that we offer every single day of the year to the community. We attract students from a multi-county area. When I started working here more than 20 years ago, it was primarily people from Orange and Seminole County. 5% of our students and members come from Osceola. We have students coming from Marion County, from Lake County, from Volusia County. As the school has grown, our influence is reaching <coughs> further and further. We have a faculty of over 40 artists that teach here who are shared their talent with the community every single day. We work with kids, with young people, with professionals, with people out of all walks of life, of all backgrounds, of all languages, and of all cultures every day. Here and at our second campus, the Hannibal Square Heritage Center, and 20 miles to the west at our site in Winter Garden in, uh, in, west, in West Orange County. I am so pleased to have all of you here tonight for this exhibition and I would love to dedicate this, in, this exhibition, Keepers of Heritage, to our brothers and sisters, our American friends, and our American citizens in Puerto Rico. Wow. <laughs> our brothers and sisters have endured tremendous tragedies, storms, more than a year ago, many of them are still feeling and living the effects of all of those things that, that, that have happened. This is a, a, a position is a tribute to them. And I also want to recognize and dedicate the show to all the families that have left Puerto Rico and have come to Central Florida and made this their home. And I want to wish them from the bottom of my heart that Central Florida will be as good as a home for them as it has become for me, who was an immigrant from Switzerland 40 years ago and moved to the greater Orlando area. I wish them all the best, much success. We are happy that you are here. As you can see in the work that's on the wall, uh, you tremendously enrich the life, the culture of the Central Florida community. And uh, we're looking forward uh, to all the great things that you're gonna contribute uh, to the community in, in the coming years and decades and in the future of uh, Central Florida and Winter Park and the greater or, or Orlando area. I would love to also uh, recognize uh, the organizations and funders who make all of this all of this possible. And this exhibition in particular is primarily funded to our own government, through Orange County, through the Tourist Development Funding Grant. It's, it's administrated to the Orange County Arts and Culture Affairs uh, Department. And we had their leader, Terry Olson, here a little bit ago. He had to go to another event. But a good friend of mine and his assistant, Lindy Shepard, is here tonight. Lindy, say hi. We appreciate so much for your program and your department does and the value that our own government sees in diversity and in telling the story and celebrating all of this that we have, the richness in our community to the arts with exhibitions just like this. They give us funding that we can advertise not only locally but regionally and nationally and tell the story about Central Florida, what a progressive community we have, have become. And I have personally witnessed this over the last four decades that, uh, that this, has been, this has been my home. We have other funders that uh, in general support the organization that make a lot of the things possible that we have here, our classes, our exhibits, our free outreach programs. They are United Arts of Central Florida and they're represented by Trudy Vile, who is their vice president. Trudy, are you here? Where are you? He's over there. the 
City of Winter Park with their support, particularly for the programs we do at the Hannibal Square Heritage Center, which has its own exhibition opening in two weeks. This is Andrew Grant, his first solo exhibition. He's a local uh, Orlando artist who was studied at Creole more than a decade ago. That exhibition will open two weeks uh, from tonight. And also I want to recognize the state of Florida, the division uh, of culture affairs. We're not getting a lot of money from them these days, right? <laughs> so talk to your elected officials, raise hell. It's unacceptable what the state of Florida has done to the arts. We have a new government, let, we have a new uh, governor. Let's use our influence forever we can that the arts get full funding again going forward because it's been a very, very challenging year for, uh, you know, for all of the arts, arts organizations. I want to thank our members. Many of you are here in this room, our members, who do your membership support, support Creole. We have had a very, very good year in 2018, and that is because of you, because of your support of the organization, through your membership, and, and your classes. Are there any Creole board members here tonight, right now? Yay, Elena Flumella in the back. They're the ones who show up, you know, they support the school with time, with money, with their relationships, with their stature in, in, the, in the community because they want to see things like this happen on, a, on, an on, on an ongoing basis. Of course, none of this would happen without one person, and that is the person who is our senior exhibition curator for all the exhibitions that we do, both here next door at the Heritage Center, the traveling exhibitions, who will tell the story about art and community and how it all works together and Creole Day, you know, all over all over this area. And that is my colleague Barbara Tiffany. Barbara are you here? Thank you. Thank you. I have never worked with anybody who when it comes to exhibition has such incredible attention to detail. I think in a form of your life, you were Swiss. Because you have this incredible attention to detail. You love perfection. You're driven to it. And I respect it so much in you. She's worked on this show for almost two years. She first came to me with a proposal. She found it on the internet. She met the artist. No? No, that was no? the last show. That was the last show. She found it somehow, right? And she met the artist and she brought the proposal to me. And, uh, you know, here it is today. With lots and lots of work and grant funding in, in between. She is here to introduce our guest speaker tonight, who is one of the artists. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I do have people to thank that helped create the um, energy that drove you all here. The marketing teams, Mila Bell Dykes, Ludi Shepard, Nikki Drum, and Allison Carpenter. But what really helped the most was the installation. I needed two right-hand people, and that was Joan Sanchez. <laughs> okay, good evening and thank you for your participation. Also, thanks to Crialde School of Art 
for hosting the collective Keepers of Heritage Puerto Rican Artists in Central Florida. Thanks to Barbara Tiffany, curator of exhibitions, studio artist Joan Sanchez for being the liaison that made this possible, an art collector and collaborator Ramon Rosario for his unconditional support. I am Angel Rivera Morales, artist, local art gallery director, and barber. <laughs> I am committed with the responsibility to encourage the use of art for the benefit of society. Years ago, I embraced my vocation in art and after pursuing a degree in humanities, started a professional career. During the process, I've had the pleasure of meeting and discovering unique individuals full of knowledge. They influence my perception of the purpose behind what we do. I learned that in order to survive while attempting to thrive in the field of the arts, commitment and dedication are most important. After dedicating a couple of years developing my skills, I started to respect and admire the ones who perform long careers in the arts, especially those who lead a long-lasting legacy. I learned that art is all about sharing our thoughts, emotions, concerns with everyone. Artists share their talent, time, and knowledge with their communities, families, friends, and country. Keepers of Heritage seeks to express a brief representation of the contribution that Puerto Rican artists have accomplished and what we can achieve working together. We present you a selection of artworks that contain small fragments of our collective expression as Puerto Ricans in and outside Puerto Rico. Some of the participating artists live here in Central Florida. Some live in Puerto Rico. Some of them came from Puerto Rico once to study and returned to the island to teach. Some of them grew up in the States and some came recently to live in Central Florida after completing their education in the island. This collection is a variety of aesthetic proposals that are intertwined by the ethnic and educational relationship between the artists, it's astonishing to see how everything fits together making perfect sense. I think in the same way, if we humans learn to appreciate the contribution of others to our lives, even though we disagree, we have the capacity to share this world in which we are living in, and despite our differences, work together to articulate our common developing story in harmony. We strive to leave a legacy because we have inherited such an incredible one. It is our hope to make it possible. Keepers of Heritage is a project which identifies artists who have been contributing to the Puerto Rican patrimony in the island and abroad. Artists that have dedicated their life exploring the possibilities that inhabit the power of creation. Their expression contain meaningful memories and experiences that will help us to reveal the nature of our creative identity. We are custodians of the invaluable relic that is our heritage and gladly share with everyone that is eager to learn, understand, and appreciate. These are our participating artists, and please come forward. Yvonne Galanes. Jose Feliciano. Master Artist Carmelo Fontanes Cortijo. Also presenting but not present, 
Master Artist from Puerto Rico, Domingo Garcia. Rafael Rivera Rosa. Martín García Rivera. And Sculptor Pablo Rubio. And last but not least, our associate curator and artist, Yasir Nieves. want to salute fellow artists that are with, here with us tonight. Uh, we want to recognize Carmen Rojas and Jose Sanchez that they have been with us during the project. They are not presenting tonight, but they have been part of this project. And also, Mr. Jesus Marín. If I forget someone, Rigoberto Torres. <laughs> I beg your pardon if I forget someone. <laughs> Welcome to, to Keepers of Heritage. Enjoy. Okay.